what was uh, coach said that maybe it was you or um, or Baz there or what was kind of the plan coming in and how to develop on the last play yeah last play yeah so the last play um we knew we didn't have too much time on the clock so we went to one of our plays um uh just a back screen um and then coaches told me just make a play after that so uh we got what we wanted and we came out with the w that was a pretty tough shot um what was your kind of thinking in that moment were you pretty confident that you had a good look and it was going to go in yes sir i mean it was just good to see the ball go in the basket today and that was the kind of a theme for you, uh, especially after the kind of tough last game. What was it like to bounce back in the way you did tonight? I mean, you know, playing basketball, man, you know you're going to have some good games and you're going to have some bad games. Um, just, you know, you just have to stay confident in yourself. And, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Just, you know, just stay confident and just keep shooting, man. And so my teammates trust me on that. My, the coaches trust me on that. And that was the result. Um, Will, you had uh, those three made three pointers, including two late in that game. How are you feeling just shooting from you know from three and just your shot as a whole at this season? I mean, yeah, um, this whole off season I've been really working on getting my shot right. Uh, last year I didn't go the way I wanted it to, so I mean every day I'm just feeling good about my shot and it showed today. And then defensively, you know they were 14 of 32 from three. What was so hard about you know guarding those outsides tonight, and what kind of did you think maybe it didn't work as well on defense? I mean, they did, credit to them. They did a great job of making us pay when we overhelped. Um, I, I mean, being out there, it felt like they didn't miss a shot. So, I mean, honestly, with the result we have, it, it could be worse. And next time, we just got to stick to the game plan more. And we can't, we can't let up 14 threes in our home court for sure. Yeah, they made 14 threes. Uh, let me start with you, Will. Uh, John W. Davis with the Southern California News Group, LA Daily News. Uh, how does it help your confidence to make those late threes? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it always it always feels good when you see the ball go in. Uh, I mean, knowing we we're, as a team we're we're gonna need scoring, uh, whether it be me tonight, whether it be somebody else tomorrow. But I mean, it just it felt good. I mean, obviously it's good for confidence as well. But I've been working all season on uh, getting my shot right. The coaches trust me. Uh, they get mad at me when I don't shoot it. So. I was just happy to see it going today. And Dylan, how about you? Uh, when was the last time you had a game winner like that? Um, high school, man. So, I mean, it's a blessing to, you know, be able to make that shot. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a great feeling. Um, all credit to UC Riverside, man. They, play, they, played, they played really hard, man. 14 threes in a game is unbelievable. And so, you know, we got to go back to the drawing board and just get ready for the next one. We got a big one coming up. Uh, for you guys, but either whoever wants to answer it, but you guys have the longest nation winning streak, home court winning streak in the nation. Were you guys aware of that? And, you know, when they went ahead, did that ever enter your mind late in the game? I mean, we just try to win every game, honestly. So, uh, I mean, yeah, of course we're aware of it, but at the end of the, at the, end of the day, we're just we're really just trying to win regardless if we're on the road or at home. Um, and then uh, Coach Savino said Coach Cronin, even though he was ill, was trying to, you know, help out with the scouting report. Was he able to communicate with you guys uh, before this game at all, Coach Cronin? I didn't even hear the question. I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, uh, Coach Cronin, was he able to communicate with y'all before the game? Wish you luck or say anything, pass along good luck or? Um, you know, Coach Cronin, you know, he was pretty much he was pretty ill, so you know, it was all on our coaching staff, Coach Savino, Coach Palmer. Coach uh, Yogi, Coach Nate, and so um, um, with the scouting report, you know, they, I feel like they did a pretty good job. I feel like we could have followed it way better. Um, you know, their main thing for us was that the only like the only way they could really beat us was shooting threes, and we kind of you know bombed that game plan. Uh, and then. Just for, for either of you, what did you make of the, the style and coaching differences between Coach Savino tonight and how Coach Cronin normally is? Uh, I mean, everybody's an echo of, you know, Coach, we all always stress um, the same things, regardless of who's saying it, everybody's stressing the same things. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it was probably a, a difference in intensity, but at the end of the day, same uh, message. we all, yeah, same message, we all... Uh, echo what we're supposed to do, and we didn't execute that to the best of our ability today. As a game like this develops, and a team that is considered a lesser team for, for whatever reason, stays with you, how do you react to that? And, and is 
does experience help you to deal with that and, and understand that, hey, these guys are on scholarship too? I mean, yeah, and I think uh, me and DA probably witnessed this last year, but it's a good wake-up call for our whole team. Like, anybody can come in. We got to be prepared for every team because uh, teams like Riverside can come in and, and give you a scare like this. So um, it's just going to bring us all closer together. Like I said earlier, it's better – it's a better outcome that we won than we lost. So uh, at the end of the day, we got to do a better job of uh, executing our game plan. Okay. Who d one more. Who do you think benefited more from this game, you guys or them? Hmm. I mean, I feel like, you know, every game is a learning message for both teams. So, I mean, I wouldn't only say that they learned something from us, but we also learned something from them. And at the end of the day, like, like Will just uh, stressed on, um, Anybody can you can lose any to anybody, and so I feel like that was just like a wake up call for sure. So it's a good message and good learning for us. We're gonna end it there. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.